In China, it's not snow, but smog that has hit some cities. Record levels of pollution in the country's north has led to visibility that's less than half a football field. The extreme pollution is raising serious health concerns, too. And as Paul Johnson explains, it may finally force the government there to take action. It's an eerie and unforgettable sight. Figures appearing out of the smog and then vanishing again. Welcome to fall in northern China. For the second day in a row, flights have been canceled, schools closed, and a red alert issued for the 10 million residents of Harbin. Add in the cities of Changchun and Shenyang, and more than 30 million people are living under a blanket of smog 25 times more dense than what the World Health Organization considers safe. It makes me feel like I'm going to choke, says this woman. The official government explanation is that a lack of wind and farmers burning stalks after harvest has caused the smog. This coincided with the start of the central heating season. Massive coal-fired power plants were turned on over the weekend as the temperatures dropped. Then the smog came. For decades, protection of China's environment has been a much lower priority than economic growth. But that may be changing as extreme pollution has prompted Beijing to propose new laws. Along with the pollution is a booming trade in masks. Uh, this clerk says they're used to selling a hundred masks a day. Today, they sold more than a thousand. This looks pretty strange, doesn't it? This is actually my own mask. It's an expensive one that I brought from Canada. A lot of people here are wearing these cheaper, disposable masks. How well do they work? Seems to be an open question, but you sure feel better wearing one when the air is bad here. Donna? Boy, I bet you do. Paul Johnson in Beijing for us.